Awesome. So then maybe you don't want your page to go anywhere because we're just using this for testing purposes right now. You can just give it a pound sign and that pound sign is what I always do by default. We haven't made this awesome page yet so we're gonna make it later but it doesn't have a page yet so I'm just gonna give it a pound sign and it just virtually brings it to the same page it's already at. So now we have our UL done. That's that code block. And then inside of our header, so our whole header is done. So now we're going to go into our content and let's put some stuff in here. So inside of our content, let's do like an h2 tag. h2 tag, h tag, header tags are important for the search engine so it knows, it gathers information about your site. Um, so put this is a cool picture. And right below it, we're going to put a picture. So to it, the image tag we're going to need is an image. That's all you put is IMG. We're going to give that a source of images slash whatever my picture is called. Um, I don't have any pictures inside of my images folder. So on that on that folder that I made, I don't have any images in here. I'm gonna put some images in there. Uh, I have this picture called a girl, so uh, I'm gonna put this hot girl in here. So images slash girl dot jpeg, and that comes from. So right here, our index is in this root folder here. We want to go inside of images. Inside of here. There's a thing called girl. So we went inside of images and we got the girl.jpg. And you need an alt tag for this if you want it to validate. Um, so we're just going to give it an image. So if this page can't load, or if this picture can't load, the user doesn't see an image, uh, this text is displayed. And we're going to give it a width of 300 and I don't think you need pixels. Do height and 300. And that's a self closing tag. I think image tag is only a self closing tag inside of the body. So it just gets a slash that. So, sun raised index, we have a cool picture and clickable links. And then h2 tag. So on our lists are used a lot. So we're going to make another one for good practice. Uh, there's also a thing called ordered list. So maybe if you want an ordered list, inside of an ordered list comes a list items. So we would have something in there. Or list item that. And another list item. So I'm going to show you what an order, uh, ordered list does. An ordered list gives it numbers instead of these little uh, dots in front of it. But we don't want an ordered list. It's actually rarely used. I like unordered lists. So inside of here, let's put a bunch of pictures. So I got these other four pictures in here. We're going to use those. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste this line. And I'm going to put it inside of this li. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want the girl this there, but I don't want the gorilla. Because that's what my picture is called. So, what did I just click on? Oh, yeah. So, I'm actually going to. No, I'm not. I'm going to go inside of here, and we're going to do make this image clickable. So we're going to give it an href of the same thing as a source. So when you click on it, it'll bring you the full sized picture of it. And then we're going to close that and we're going to wrap it around this image tag. So if that just got confusing, we could break it down.
Okay. Inside of this li, or ul, we have an li. Inside of this li, we have an anchor tag that makes it clickable. Inside this clickable object, we can click on this image. And we don't want this height and width, so we want a width of 80. We'll make it a little bit smaller, so it's like a thumbnail. And height of 60. So if I go to, well, we're actually going to copy and paste this. Uh, this one's called shark. Shark. Um, and the other one's called, uh, what was it called? Zoo. So now when we test this, we have these three clickable images. And when you click on them, it goes to the full size image. Awesome. Okay. And yeah, this site looks fucking stupid right now, but we're going to style it later in my next video with CSS and make it look badass. So we're just getting the layout down right now. And then maybe. Well, I'm going to do one line codes because I'm a fucking badass and I don't like a bunch of lines in my code. So I'm going to minimize this. You don't have to. I'm just doing it because I'm a fucking G. Alright. So now I have a bunch of one-liner codes in here. And it's all wrapped inside of this UL. Maybe I want to give this UL an ID. And this is going to be our gallery of images. Of only three images, actually. And this ID is useful later for when we style it. Which is in my next video. And our last thing to do is our footer. So maybe inside of our footer we'll keep it simple and we'll just do a paragraph tag. So this is a paragraph tag. You can put uh, this is where you put all your info. So we're going to give it a copyright sign. So to do that copyright sign, HTML has uh, built in things. You can look them up. Uh, that's how you do the copyright sign though. And then we'll say 2011 com And save that. And it's only at the bottom here. Copyright 2011mysite.com. And what I like to do is put comments in here whenever something closes. So this is my header right here. All my header. And I want to make sure it's closed. Put my head end header here and make sure that I have an opening here and I make sure it's closed right here. So here's another div. I want to make sure that div is closed. Uh, this is optional. I like to do it because it keeps my code clean and I know when stuff ends and when stuff doesn't. So here's the end footer. Uh, and here is an end nav. And I want to make sure this is closed, my wrapper. So here is an end wrapper. And to do a comment, it's real easy. Uh, the, that sign, an exclamation mark, two dots, and then you put whatever you want inside of here. And the browser cannot see that. It's only for you to see. So, I follow that done. In our next video, we're going to CSS style it and make it badass so it actually looks good to look at.